members of the Williams College field hockey team, which just won 8-0 against Johnson and Wales University in the first round of the NCAA Division III tournament on Wednesday at Williamson Field in Williamstown, Massachusetts. From left to right, Catherine Torres, head coach Alex Burrell, and Emily Batchelor. Coach, could you just open up with a general statement about today's game? Oh, well, what a thrill. It was so exciting to actually be able to host and, and get that at-large bid in the first place to be in the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, we were, I thought we execu executed our game plan really well. We came out on fire, um, scored those three quick goals. I think that set the tone, and then we, we managed to um, maintain that intensity, that focus, and everybody on the team, which was great, was able to contribute to that win. Emily, you scored three times in the first quarter. Could you talk about the energy the team came out with? Um, well, just to echo what Alex said, like we all really wanted this game, and like we came out on fire, as she said. Um, everyone was working together really well. Um, we set goals for the game, um, and I think we met them with flying colors. <laughs> I'm really proud of like everyone. Everyone contributed to every goal, um, and it was amazing to watch. Catherine, how much excitement was there in getting one more home game this year in front of the home fans, and how much did that energy help you today? I think it helped a ton. I mean, we haven't played at home in a little, a little while. I think it's always different being able to, you know, get ready in your own locker room, play on your own field, see your family. I think that's really a big part of how well everyone played today. Coach, you lost your first two NESCAC games this season in dramatic overtime fashion, <laughs> and then responded by going six and two in the conference the rest of the regular season, defeat Amherst on the road in the quarterfinals of the NESCAC tournament, and now won your first round NCAA tournament game. Could you talk about the resiliency of the team throughout the season and how you guys are peaking at the right time? Yes, so we started, to, so after those two two back-to-back -back overtime losses to Bates and Tufts, we talked about focusing on competitive stamina because we felt like we would get ahead in the game or be dominating the game and then kind of fizzle out at the end. So it was more of a, so, and we thought that was less of our game plan and more of our mental fatigue. So that was a big focus of ours was to talk about competitive stamina throughout every game. And I think that really helped us focus and stay motivated to push through. And I felt like after that tough, that crushing tough loss in overtime, so considering we were ahead 2 nothing, that was really hard for us to summit. I think we just decided that all right, here's our new focus. We're gonna make sure um, that we continue to push ourselves as hard as we can and never give up. And I feel like that's something that we kept getting better at and better at as the season progressed. And then having, like, you know, the Amherst game was probably the, the best moment of all in terms of meeting that competitive stamina where we actually were able to score that goal and get the game winning goal within 12 seconds. And Emily, for everyone on the team, this was your first ever NCAA tournament game. Could you just talk about the thought process and the emotions of the team going into this game? Mm -hmm. we're all, we're, we are all definitely very excited. It feels like there's something in the air. It's just like that makes it so special. Um, like coming to our own field and like seeing all the like NCAA um, like posters and stuff is like such an amazing feeling. And like we really know that we deserve to be here. Um, which is, a, which is a really awesome feeling, and like we're just really excited to keep going and like showing people we really deserve to be here. And Catherine, you guys have been really strong on defense this year. I think this is the ninth time you've shut out your opponent. Could you just talk about, obviously you guys scored a lot of goals tonight, but could you also talk a little bit about how important the defensive effort was to the win today? Yeah, I think the defensive effort is always so important. I think we have three incredible backs this year that are really determined and great at keeping the ball out. I feel like this year we really made a concerted effort to you know make our circle defense really clean, try to avoid corners. But when we get those, also making sure our, our corner defense is really clean. I think we put a lot of effort into that throughout the season. I feel like we've improved a ton since the beginning. I do think that just hopefully that will just gonna help us keep going as far as we can. And coach, you are heading to Salisbury now for the second round of the NCAA tournament Saturday, and we'll face off against Washington and Lee. What are your thoughts going into this matchup, and what will the keys be in order to be successful? Well, first of all, it's just thrilling to go and play someone outside of the NESCAC, <laughs> um, knowing how competitive it is. So I feel well prepared mm -hmm. to face anyone um, based on having to face teams like Middlebury and Amherst and any NESCAC team. I, I really feel well prepared. Um, and it's exciting, again, to play a team such as Washington and Lee and hopefully moving on to even possibly getting the chance at, at Salisbury my, is my hope. Um, so, what was the other question? 
Sorry, what was the other question? I'm um, just what were your um, what's your thoughts going into the matchup keys? and okay. the keys to be Sorry. successful? Uh, you know, the keys again is for us to stay. Um, you know, we talk a lot about we, what one of the things we do really well as a team together is we set goals. We set goals for quarters. We set goals for practice. We set goals for our game, and I feel like that helps us stay focused. Um, on what we're trying to accomplish. And then at, at the end of every quarter, we can measure where we are um, and make adjustments based on that. All right, perfect, thank you very much. And congratulations on the win.